Okay, back. Now, indeed, yeah, I, I, I have to resell sell them, get rid of these 250 watt motors. I think they are not really of any use uh, nowadays. And uh, it's, a, it's okay to take these motors uh, if you get the hold on, on such a super, a super dense uh, motor, it's okay. But as I've uh, just seen on these uh, standard 350 uh, watt motors with 25, that's okay. Yeah, now I, I, I want to take small words because I have lots of these boards now and uh, I like these boards because uh, it's only, you see, when you only need, a one, need one motor, then well, that's a small, a tiny uh, board. It, it, it has here uh, uh, all the LEDs uh, attached to it, so you have some output. There's also this IMU, this uh, motion sensor should should be on the on the on the control board. You have some LED uh, uh, that you can take to detect uh, the sunlight, and I think it's the same MOSFET here, uh, so that doesn't uh, make any difference. And uh, for example, what I could would like to use them is for for on the roof, the, the wind generator and is a solar uh, uh, charge controller. Because uh, the wind power, you either you normally you connect it uh, directly to the battery, and uh, I have a DC uh, wind turbine, and so. But uh, in case of a storm, I need electric brake, and then I would need to uh, sense a plus to to minus to make a shortcut. And you see, these are exactly these two MOSFET here. So one MOSFET is. Uh, is sending this uh, uh, phase either to minus and the other MOSFET is sending to plus. So you see uh, one one of this these three could only 10 amps or no let's say four up to 20 amps. So this could be one and basically it's the same for for solar charging. So you either connect it to the battery and when the battery is full then you usually you shortcut a PVM controlled, you shortcut the solar panel because then the current um, goes down to zero and there is no energy created in the solar panel, which is was said to be more uh, um, economic and safe uh, for a long term uh, for solar panels. So um, there is uh, on GitHub some uh, guy who has made a firmware, but uh, I asked him several times to would you offer you please uh, I need a make file for for my online compiler and he never responded. So this is a call to all <laughs> all you watching and you see I I, I strongly dislike um, Linux and but all of you you hate Linux as a uh, superior operating system and so you. Uh, I, I maybe I can even um, copy the make file from from so our firmware into the folder of of his folder uh, of this firmware and it will work. Uh, but I, I don't like to try it because you see I don't like Linux. So if some of you would um, please provide the firmware for I put it down in the the links. Uh, because uh, now I think there's another hoverboard, I have uh, three hoverboards or so six of these controllers and I would like to make some use of it, of them. Okay, uh, now for this thing. Uh, because uh, it's, it's only 12 tooth and usually the bigger ones have 16 tooth and so it's um, hard, hard to... Um, <laughs> speed doesn't match. Whereas this, okay, I can uh, can be quickly. Let's let's calculate this 12 to uh, three wheel thing here yeah? because um, you could um, mount it here and then a uh, little bit, um, behind the, the pedal pedaling uh, crank, and so it is it's 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 exactly so on the on the the chain on the on going back to the, the back wheel. You see if if you don't. Uh, turn the motor, then it would go here on top. Uh, but if the motor moves, then it would um, assist the, the pedaling. And so uh, usually uh, pedal speed is 90 RPM. Uh, um, and so with a big sprocket of 46, I think that's, so let's say uh, we have um, 90 RPM and um, multiplied with a 46 tooth and then divided by these 12 tooth and 
So we have uh, th the motor has the spin with 345 and RPM. And as I calculate some, some time ago, that's about um, 14 RPM per volt. So we need to divide it by 14. That's 24 volt. But that's uh, uh, no load. Um, and from, from what I've seen, 70% is the difference from no load to um, most efficiency. So we have to divide it by 0 0.7 and we end up with 35 volt. <laughs> so you see uh, the thing behind, behind the pedaling and it's a uh, for normal bikes, there wouldn't be enough, I uh, guess, not enough space for this uh, big diameter. But a, a recum for a recumbent bike, uh, uh, would be no problem, and it's quite easy to build a recumbent bike. And so you see, this would be a nice project uh, for 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 us. It's only a two to three dollar uh, euro or dollar, and. Um, so you see, putting this here uh, onto this um, would, would be very nice. Um, you could, um, you see, let's make some differences. If, if you only take a 36 uh, big sprocket, and then you could use this, the ordinary uh, BMX uh, free, 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 free wheels, but these those have 16 tooth, and you see, then you end up with 20 volts. Uh, so um, this is. Divide, yes, and 20, it could be 24 volts. So, and I like 24 volt uh, 7S because you, 24 volts, it's you can two solar panels make two, uh, 24 volts, 36 volts, you need three solar panels. So, this becomes a more problem. And 24 volts is, is more easy to handle with a uh, DC regulator than 36. But as, as I said, um, this would be very nice. So, I, I, I spent some thoughts on how. How could we mount this here? And so first thing to notice here, uh, the, the bigger one is a 32. So um, this would really be, you would need a spacer inside here. Whereas here the 32 uh, would really fit inside here. And so um, there's a bearing. That's uh, bearing a uh, six uh, in millimeter inner diameter, uh, 50 millimeter outer uh, diameter. So you can put it in here, and then with a six millimeter bit, you can drill a hole. Come out here, you have a six millimeter hole here, and you then you can buy such a nice that's a seven, seven, uh, eight uh, to, to ten uh, euro uh, from, from, from China. I've already ordered some of these, but you see, that's again, I, I don't really uh, want, want to do it all alone. Because uh, as you might have seen from my previous view, video, uh, I'm going for direct dri driven. Uh, so no, no chain and, and, and so. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a good idea for, you see, uh, just one motor and the mid, mid motor and a, a three, three wheeler. So if you have here the six millimeter, then this is also six millimeter. You can and switch this uh, if you want to a six millimeter uh, shaft, and so you can here and then you can add uh, thirty eight millimeters because this here is uh, that's I think thirty nine millimeter, thirty eight point five, and so this could already be enough and. Then you completely, but there's two millimeters here, um, um, at least two millimeters uh, space for to, to hold the, uh, the bearing. And the bearing then would be pushed, uh, could not uh, go outside because here uh, this inside is a 30, 34 millimeters, I think, and the bearing is 35. So you see, and the, the aluminium is about two millimeters inside, there's still one millimeter left. And um, as this here is uh, not very sharp, so it's again from a millimeter more. So this thing could, uh, could go about four millimeters uh, down. Yeah, and then, uh, well, yeah, you could, you could epoxy uh, glue it in. And yeah, I, I would suggest you also take some uh, glass fiber roving or carbon roving and um, circle it around. So that the, the epoxy gets more contact to, to the to the sh uh, disc here, 
and that could be already enough. Other way would be here, there's another a bearing that's uh, four millimeters inside to 18 millimeters outside with a flange, and so it can go here uh, on top. And so then, um, no, it's uh, 12 millimeters inside. Then you would need a washer and then you could put a screw and the screw would, uh, you see here, it's, it's already centered. So you can here um, drill in a, a, a wire, uh, for a screw. I've already made this for, for my um, wheels. That's the other way that you can simply, and uh, you can cha could change it if you want and simply use here out of space. <coughs> so let's continue with this camera. <coughs> and, and, and mount it that way. But I think uh, to, to glue it in, other possibility would to, if you uh, have a, a, a welding machine, then you could uh, weld some screws for and then drill holes. And But uh, that would, would, not, would not really work because you, uh, of, of so, so. For the, for the bearing, the, the, the aluminium. And so the best way really would be here to work. circular holes, drill in, and, and then glue it in. And as, as I said, the 7 euro fee, well, that's a 10 euro project. So, I mean, all of you that have a job they hate to, to buy and make shit that no one really needs. That could really be then a tutorial and the beginning of a project where we, we make a finally a Kickstarter and for, for less than a thousand euro, less than a thousand dollar, a three wheeler, four wheeler. Uh, can be done, uh, needs some clever uh, ideas. And so I, have, I think I already have everything uh, together to, to do it. Uh, but you see, doing it alone is never, never fun. Squish your tank Boom by the radiator Bones broken on the ground I wonder we've got worth sleeping I wonder we've got worth sleeping